Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I really wanted to sit down and do kind of like my speedy makeup routine. So we're going to go through the products that I use when I need to like just get ready, get out the door. Normally, if I'm not talking through it, it takes me about 15 minutes, you know, from start to finish. So what I'm going to do is show you all the products first, and then we're going to time to see how long it takes me to do the full face. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of different tutorials. And if you have any like to, I really hope you would consider subscribing and hit that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. When I'm in a rush and I need to get ready fast, I will focus on my base. So I'm going to make sure that I have a nice medium to full coverage foundation on, that I have concealer on, that everything's powdered to perfection, that it's kind of just like a blank canvas and then from there I'll work up so I tend to not really do much at all if anything with my eyes I tend to skip eyeshadow altogether if I'm in a rush because when I do eyeshadow I like to sit down take my time do a nice look and that can take some time so I kind of speed through the eyes and focus mainly on the base so focusing on a good base means you need a a good primer. You definitely don't need to spend the money on this one, but it's one that I've been loving recently and it's the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I've been using this. I'm actually like worried I'm gonna hit pan on this soon because I don't know if I can rebuy this at full price, but just make sure you have a good solid primer that you can reach for when you're in a hurry. Next is going to be a foundation that is quick to apply. I know a lot of people tend to reach for stick foundations here. I have not found a stick foundation that works well on my skin. I've got combination skin, but I do have two options, one drugstore, one high end that I really do enjoy that are super fast to apply. So the higher end one is actually one I have in one of my project pans. This is the Dior Air Flash foundation and I have the shade 201. This one's super quick to apply. It's medium coverage and I also don't have to mix it. That's another thing. Um, when you're trying to get ready in a rush, you don't want to have to sit there and like mix two foundations together to get your shades. So you're really going to want to hopefully find and invest in a nice foundation that matches you, maybe not perfectly, but matches you well enough that you don't have to mix anything in because that's going to cut down on a lot of time. So this is my high end version, my affordable version, my most recent holy grail has been the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation, and I have the shade 030 Sand Beige. I don't have to mix this in in anything at all, and I actually love the dropper because you can just literally just put it on your face and go to town. It's so fast to apply. I'm actually almost out of this. So I think during this tutorial, if I use this one, I might finish the bottle. Something that doesn't 100% really matter when you're in a hurry is your just base powders so just make sure you have a nice loose powder at the ready and a nice pressed powder if you do like to set your foundation if you don't like to set your foundation then you're just good to go you can kind of if it does set down you can just kind of do bronzer contour blush on top of it but what I like to do is use the loose powder from Beauty Bakery I love this one this is in the shade yellow it's a nice yellow powder so it does brighten up my under eyes and I just realized I skipped concealer <laughs> We'll go back and talk to concealer after the powders, but this is really brightening, but not to the point where it makes you look a little bit crazy. It just brightens up enough, like, because for the most part, when I'm in a rush, I'm heading to work. So I do want to look bright. I do want to look awake. I want to look kind of put together. So the yellow powder from Beauty Bakery is amazing. And then my go-to powder just all over is another affordable product. This is from Rimmel. This is just the Stay Matte Powder. I alternate between shade 004 Sandstorm and 001 Transparent, depending on what foundation that I'm wearing. If I'm wearing a foundation close to my own skin tone, I'll go for 004. If I'm wearing a foundation that's a bit too dark for me, I will lighten that up a little bit with that 001 shade. Recently, I've gotten back into color correcting under my eyes for my dark circles, but if I'm in a rush, I will skip that and just go for a nice full coverage concealer. My favorite recently has been the Kylie Concealer. This is in the shade Ivory. I actually, in my project pan, spoiler alert, I totally finished the concealer there. So I can no longer reach for that Kylie concealer, but I do have this one. So I will be using this one in this tutorial today. Good full coverage, amazing concealer, I love it. Something that can make a big difference when you're in a rush is having the rest of your face powders in one spot. So 
a good face palette can cut down on you searching for your other products or trying to move between a bunch of different compacts and a great face palette that i love is from hourglass this is their ambient lighting edit unlocked palette their new limited edition palette and i love this to pieces if i didn't want to use my stay matte powder i could also use the face powders in here and the only thing i would have to go out of this palette for would be contour so my dream palette would be just to get rid of one of those face powders and make it a contour shade then it would be perfect and i literally wouldn't have to reach for anything else but it's still a great palette and I love reaching for this. Like I said, we are missing a contour shade. So I do like to bring in one of my favorite contour shades of all time. This is from the Smashbox Contour Palette and I just reach for the shade right here. The only thing I'm missing would be brows and I am gonna be using the dark brown shade from my pen that palette just to do my brows and then just throwing a clear brow gel on top of it. And I believe that's gonna be it for this tutorial other than, um, my eyes but I'll talk a little bit more about my eyes once we do the base so I do want to speed through this and I'm gonna time it I'm gonna set a timer on my phone to see how fast I can do this process so I'm gonna put my headphones in so I can hear the timer <laughs> people are always wondering like why I have these in it's because whenever I'm not filming either I'm listening to something I'm watching something or I just like hearing my phone sounds through there okay and done oh okay six minutes six minutes and 11 seconds to get a nice base so that was intense like I, I feel like a cramp in my shoulder so as you can see it only takes six minutes to get a nice solid base going personally it's it's gonna be up to personal preference what you do like after here do you want to do a little bit of eyeshadow do you want to like intensely do your brows I didn't do my brows probably take me another minute to do my brows but you know if you're really in a rush just comb through them <laughs> boop, 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 boop. yeah see I can live with that so from here the only thing that I would do like as a necessity is to take the foundation off my lips because if I'm in a rush I'm probably not gonna have time to like grab a lipstick or put one on so I'll just take a q-tip and just take off the foundation and just put a lip balm on just for my lipstick for the day and then I will just prime my eyes throw a little bit of powder on, and then maybe my bronzer shade in the crease. And I only do that because I get really oily eyelids. So if I don't prime them or put powder on my eyelids, it's very obvious. And you can see like my greasy eyelids <laughs> throughout the day. And that's something that I don't really like. So that's personal preference, but there's nothing wrong with this look right here. You could stop right here. Well, let's take off the lips or take off the foundation from our lips. Just like that. So my chapstick is all the way on the other side of the room, but I would put chapstick on right after this just to moisturize a little bit. So I'm just going to jump off and do my eyelids real quick, and then I'll show you how the quick makeup look looks. Look looks. Makeup look looks. Looks. So I just went and primed my eyelids real quick. I just used the Kylie concealer that I used on my under eyes before. If you do want to save time, I normally don't do this, but when you're putting on your concealer, you can always just bring it up here, and then when you powder your face, powder there, and then you can kind of skip a step and save even more time. And then I just set it with the powder in my Smashbox Contour Palette, that light shade, and then I used my bronzer shade just a little bit in the crease. And that's it. Super quick. The majority of the face took about six minutes. The eyes took an extra minute and a half. So you could do this in under 10 minutes if you just need to get out the door. The only thing I'd recommend is just a little bit of setting spray. This is the Catrice Dewy Glow. And then if you'd like an extending spray, my favorite is the Scandinavia. 
So there you have it. That's the full routine for what I do when I'm in a hurry and I just need to get out the door or if like, you know, I don't normally sleep in, but I can get distracted sometimes in the morning. So if I just need to get out the door, this is what I do. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.